Welcome back to probably the last episode of the Speedster section of Monster Jam Urban Assault. I do intend on going to Stuntman and Smasher and the World Series eventually. But just like the Chicago Cubs, they'll have to wait. So now we're doing the gauntlet, probably the longest level in the game. At speed running wise, it could take you up to like three and a half minutes. Oh my goodness. Again, in normal play, there's no music. I turn the music off to avoid copyright. Unfortunately, that, that's really too bad because I love the music in this game. Especially Mississippi King by Five Horse Johnson. You can go listen to it yourself. It's a really cool song. So basically, this is like a figure eight, kind of like Luigi Circuit from Mario Kart Double Dash, kind of. Where you have to like go around the loops. You can't just cheat by uh, by just uh, avoiding the loops and you eventually collide with the trucks. This is an eliminator and I think you do this again in head to head, which that's the very next level. So I'm seriously doubting whether or not this will actually be the last level of the speedster section. <clears throat> we'll just have to see how this goes, but as of right now, I don't know. And I also recommend not cutting corners because you can accidentally not have the thing count and then bam, you'll be eliminated. Head to head, as I said, um, is exactly is exactly the same except it's only three laps. And I think it'd probably be even more chaos. But I don't know, you're going up against a whole lot of you're going up against two more trucks. Yeah, I'm being really ballsy right here. Especially going wide. You, you'll want to follow the courts as closely as possible. I, I'm being fortunate enough to uh, avoid the other trucks. But I think there was one time I accidentally launched into the infield. I'm not even... I'm not even lying. But I, I don't want to test that right now because I'm having such a good run. Also, this is a really good way to grind uh, points. Especially since you'll eventually have to... Uh, you'll eventually have to get to like four and a half million. And we're, we're almost a quarter of the way through the championship section of the game. Oh my goodness. I think just the championship section will be this LP and nothing more. But this can get repetitive, trust me. We're already three minutes through the video and we're, we have, we're gonna have a whole bunch of long levels. Especially. So we're, we're on the last lap now. The trucks haven't been too much of an issue, at least. And, oh my goodness. You said it right, Scott, even though I don't think it got... Oh, that's a tight race for last. If that's even a thing, El Toro Loco lost that one. Oh my. Oh, I think I got sub three and a half. Why is the crowd booing me? I don't get that at all. Probably booing fell because they got rid of Blacksmith, which I don't understand. Blacksmith is such a cool truck. Well, we'll get more on that soon. Backyard Battle, this is exactly the same as the Gauntlet. You can tell how old this game is, 25th anniversary. Because the 35th anniversary was such a huge letdown. I'd recommend going through the middle of that just to avoid that. So yeah, I picked Blacksmith because Blacksmith gets no love in this game at all. Because you have to... The way you unlock him is just stupid. You have to uh, do at least one freestyle. A four-player freestyle. I... That's basically an indicator saying 
hey, buy our Wii remotes. So you could get this cool truck that was already retired by the time this game came out. You know what I mean? This make, That makes no sense. So I thought I'd give Blacksmith some justice. Because this truck retired in 2007. Really underrated paint scheme. Unfortunately, I didn't get this die cast until like 2011. Because um, this was before my time. I got into Monster Jam in like 2008. And that's why this is one of my favorite games of all time. Because it kind of preserves that memory. And we're only halfway through this race, and I'm already kind of losing focus. But this is, these le this level, and the gauntlet, the gauntlet especially, are really good ways to uh, grind points, if you ever need them. I might need them eventually. And ba oh dear. Next, on Unsolved Mysteries, find out how these two trucks have managed to get wrestled in the mud. Yeah, I'm gonna lap you, Monster Mutt. Oh dear. Come on, there's half a lap to go. I'm winning by a lot, I assume. It's gonna be a straight shot. Bam. Unfortunately, these next levels are going to be so ridiculously long. And look at that, I won by almost 30 seconds. And on top of that, we get a new truck, Blue Thunder. And you know what, let's, let's go switch to him right now. So San Fran Streets, this is the last race circuit of this LP, we're gonna have to hurry here because because this one's a, this is a long level and so is the next one. But fortunately, the last head-to-head -head is short. This this is fun. I think this is where they get the uh, the box art for the game and the title screen. It's just all of them uh, just gunning it down the lane. And I have pulled away successfully. You can go to the outside here. Get some huge air, or bigger air, rather. Oh my, oh dear. Do a reverse donut. I'm surprised no one really does reverse donuts in Monster Jam at all. Yet yeah, it's a secret move in the game. In fact, I've been doing reverse donuts longer than I've been doing normal donuts, because I didn't know until like a few years ago that you could hold the A button on the Wii remote to uh, to do a four wheel turn. So we're on the last lap here. I gotta hurry because I really don't want to split this into the last episode to be split into two parts. For some reason, you can run to that shop over on the right. But why would you want to? Because that seems like they have a lot of like pointless stuff in this in these race circuits. Unfortunately, I'm out of boost, so you're gonna have to slowly make me do the turn and swag. For some reason, they always veer to the left after you finish. I thought I I thought I was the one doing that. So that was our last race circuit, so say your goodbyes now, but now we go to Concrete Alley. I love this one. I, I love it because you could you have to drive five laps around it 
and just soak it all in. There's a whole lot to smash. Don't take that the wrong way. Especially since there's five laps around instead of three. Get out. Get out of my way. Oh, how did Avenger get down there? Avenger probably got so screwed. Oh, hello, Scarlet Bandit. And there's this really good shortcut right smack in the out of the blue. You could do that and skip um, two swifty, shifty turns. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to hurry. What is Avenger doing? Is he just freestyling? Yep, he, he got eliminated. Oh my gosh. How, how did he get down there? I... That, that is so weird. I've never seen that before. I think you see something new every day, at least. Go to the outside. Again, this is like Sunset Smash. You don't know what you can hit and what you can't. But I've been missing out on a lot of the good boosts. So let me do a back flippy flippy. I can never turn tight enough to uh, do that. I was not going to make that anyway. I'm going to go to the outside. I come so close to getting monster spectacles, yet I go so far out of my way. Oh wow, look at all this boost I've got. Well, uh, hopefully I won't collide in the air. For some reason I thought I saw a truck over there. Oh, just barely sub 30. I'm going to have to do a quick cut here. I'll be right back. All right, I am back. I'm here to do Stadium Standoff, which is, fortunately, this is a very short level, but this is the most chaotic. First time we're seeing a stadium in this LP. And over here, we have a crap ton of stuff to smash. Now, I'm going to, I want it all. I want it all. It's just like the Queen song. Not yet, Scott. Not yet. Just destroy Monster Automation. I heard that. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I heard her just slam the ground. Well, this is slowly turning into a speed run now. It's like a mad dash. I'm gonna respawn. First time I've done that in this LP. They don't, they want me to split this into two parts, don't they? 
Well, I'm just barely gonna gun it. And, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode.